Hey guys, it's Mr. Cram. It's Wednesday, which means it is time for your play opportunity. Second grade students are learning how to tell time currently on an analog clock. And they're learning to tell time in the five minute increments. So 105, 110, 115, 120, so forth. Um, I'm sending home this guy today. This is going to be part of the challenge. Um, sometimes kids need a little mnemonic device for telling time. So I kind of talk about how the hour hand for whatever reason, he's the boss, okay? So when he moves, he likes to sing the number he's on all the way until he gets to a brand new number, okay? So for instance, I can't believe I'm doing this out loud. Four, 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 five. Five, 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 six. Okay, so forth and so on. Now he goes first. Now. He says his number first, and then of course we've got the minute hand, who's going to do the whole 5, 10. Now, see what just happened there? I forgot. When I move my minute hand, I really do need to hold this hour hand, keep it from moving. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, hour hand sings where he is, the minute hand just kind of says where he is, counting by fives. And if your kids can do that, that's where they need to be right now, and this game is just going to reinforce that activity through repetition. So, here it is. Okay, guys, this is how this works. Pretty basic. You're playing tic-tac-toe. Now, parents, I have sent home with your child one of these clocks with which to play this game. Now, if you play this game for a week or so and they get it, send the clock back. I can always reuse it. Um, if not, it's not the end of the world. I have, I have extras. I've written some time on some paper. You can use scrap paper. You can make them as you go. Just for the sake of this video, I've already, you know, I've made some ready to go. And again, we're working to the five minute increments. So, simple. All you're gonna do, give one of these cards to your student. They make the time on the clock, and if they get it right, they put their tic-tac-toe mark on back. In this case, the student's gonna be O. They lay it on the game board here. And then the parent goes, the parent gets the time. And if the parent can make this time kind of slowly and deliberately so the child can see it, they make their mark, lay it on here. Three in a row wins. Standard tic-tac-toe rules. But the second time around, I want to add a little bit of strategy. If you're playing again and, you know, things are going well and it's the child's turn, what they can do is they can make the time and put their mark on back, put it on here standard or they can be a little competitive and take your mark off the board so if they get this time correct they can actually take your mark flip it back over now the card will stay here but basically their turn's done now parents turn they can choose to do the same thing take the student's mark off or choose a new time to make and put their mark on here now when it's a student's turn, they've already done this, so I'm either going to put it on the bottom here or just get rid of it to make a new time. Student makes a new time, same deal. They can go ahead and, you know, put their mark on back, lay it down, or take the parent's mark off the board, so to speak. So that's it. Really, you're just playing tic-tac-toe. The whole point of this is just to get some repetition, making time to the five-minute increments. So thank you for taking the time to do this. No pun intended. Sorry about that and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks.